Here are some properties of multiplicity that are pretty cool. They help you when graphing and determining what a graph will look like. So let's see. If, okay, if the multiplicity, if the multiplicity of R is, I'm gonna go off the lines, I'm a rebel, is uh, even, even, then the graph touches the x-axis at R, or the x-intercept that we are talking about with its multiplicity. So for example, we can say we have the function, function of x equals x squared. What is the multiplicity of x squared? Well, actually, what is the real zero here? Uh, to set function of x, or x squared, equals zero. What squared is zero? Zero squared is zero. Zero times zero is zero. Isn't that great? Okay, so we have um, the r equals zero, and its multiplicity, is two, it's squared. So the multiplicity is two. Is two an even or odd number? It's an even number. So at the point zero, zero, the graph will touch the x-axis. And since we know, hopefully you know how to graph x squared, we can say we have the points one, one, and negative one, one, and zero, zero. And then you'll have over here like uh, two, four, 3, 9, and so on and so on. But what we really need to know right now is that it touches the x-axis. It does not cross over it. It touches it, bounces off, goes back off in its direction, which is absolutely wonderful. So <clears throat> let's go back to this example here. We have this graph. We have our real zeros, our x-intercepts. <laughs> Got to make sure it's on the screen. OK, so we have 1 at negative 3. One, two, three. Here is one x-intercept, and then we have one at five, and we, <laughs> zero, and we have one at five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's see. We're looking at even multiplicity right now, so we have multiplicity two at five. So that means it's going to touch the x-axis, so it will either go like this, whoop, or, oh yeah, getting multicolor. Duh. Multi <laughs> struggling. Okay. Or it will come from the bottom. We don't know that yet, but we will find out how to do that eventually. Okay. So it touches the x-axis, does not cross. These are two different possibilities. That's not how it actually looks. Okay. So next, let's do the odd in red. Whoa. I'm mixing things up. Like a mixed beverage. If the multiplicity, how does that look on the camera? Looks good. Multiplicity t with a y of r, the real zero, is odd. I'm gonna go off the lines again. The graph crosses, oh, let's underline touches here because we are contrasting these. Okay, the graph crosses the x-axis at r, the real zero. Okay, so for example, in this one, or por ejemplo, if you want to learn some Spanish while you're learning math, <clears throat> uh, we have function of x equals x cubed. Okay, so the real zero in this one is where y or function of x or this equals zero. Okay, so zero cubed is zero. So we know that the x-intercept or the real zero is zero. The multiplicity of this zero, however, will be different from this one. It is three, the multiplicity is three, so it's odd. And we know that it will cross. And we know what the graph of x cubed looks like. So we have 
the point one one, the point negative one negative one, the point zero zero, which was our uh, real zero here. And at this point, we know it crosses. So it's gonna look something like that and like that. Cool beans, huh? So going back here, let's go to uh, zero with multiplicity of three um, because I want to see how it crosses over. So we have different possibilities. Um, zero multiplicity three, it crosses over. So at zero, it could either go like this, whoop, or it could go like this. Okay, and at the point, oh, it's so Christmassy. Don't you just love that? It's Christmas. It's not Christmas anymore, though it is cold. That's why I'm wearing this jacket. Um, what was the other point? Negative three, negative three. So negative three can either go across like this or it can cross like this. So our graph will either look like the green graph, which will be something like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, that touches there and bounces off. Or it will look like the red graph, something like this. Where it goes, whoop, and down, off into infinity. And maybe even beyond. To infinity and maybe beyond as Buzz Lightyear would say. Okay, so that is that. And that is all I have for right now because this video is crazy long. It's 20 minutes, but yeah, hopefully it helps you if you are working on your pre-calculus or algebra, even perhaps algebra two. And I really hope it helps my students. <laughs> all right, toodaloo.